this for quite a while. This is a wee story of coincidences and a really lovely circle, an amazing circle. My grandfather, William Patterson, age 20, signed up to the 8th Battalion Royal Scots in Haddington, where I now live, a small coincidence. He was a miner, and he used to work. He was a shop man, it's what they call a shop man. And what the shop men did was they put explosives right into the face and blew the face out. And the rest of the guys came down and pulled the coal out. And he had a terrible, terrible cough, a terrible chest that my mother always said was down to the pit, right? I also thought I had to do all the capstan full strength he smoked because I used to get sent up the streets every day unbeknownst to my mother. Right? <laughs> so he died when I was about 12. And I knew he fought in the Great War, the 1418. But he never talked about it, like so many people never did. Right? We moved forward to 2011. I'm in Paris. I'm doing a gig in Paris in the Fish Heads Club tour. Is it? And uh, a friend of mine, Simon Austin, right, who's kind of like a World War I battlefield tour guide as a hobby, he should be doing, doing it professionally. Right? He's very good. He said, you've got to come to the song. He said, you're writing the album. And he said, this, I'm sure it's going to provide inspiration. How right he was. And um, so I got on the train after the gig and I went to, from Gare du Nord, the station, to Arras, a place I'd never, ever been before. And I met up with Simon and, and his, his family. And we walked about during that afternoon. And um, I admit, I was in tears three or four times that day. It, was, it really hit me, you know. And, um, you know, when somebody's turning around to you and saying, you know, on this field, you know, this is where, by the time they reached this point, you know, the battalion had lost 150 men. By the time they reached this point, there was only 150 men left. And it repeated. And it repeated. And that night, on the Sunday night, I slept in a small wooden kind of bed and breakfast place that was built on the site of the old no man's land. Right? And the next day, it was my birthday. Right? And I woke up on my morning, very early in the morning, and I looked out the French windows, right? and there was like the mist lying across the ground. It was really mysterious. And I phoned my mum and dad, because I'm lucky they're still alive. And I could talk to him on my birthday. I said, like, you know, you know, which battalion? That was when I really discovered about the 8th battalion. Uh, but my mum knew nothing else. And that night of my birthday, I was staying in Arras, right? And I was, had a hotel there, and I was going to be walking around the old market square. And I said to my dad, where was your dad? Where was William Dick, who was in the Royal Flying Corps? He was, a, he was ground crew of the Royal Flying Corps. And he said he was stationed in Arras. Right? I went, <laughs> Later that day, Simon, who's got access to a lot of kind of records, regimental records, battalion records, went up and checked on the 8th Battalion Royal Scots. And when I woke on my birthday, right, when I woke, when I slept, right, I was 15 metres away from where my granddad, William Patterson, dug a trench line called White City back in 1916. Right, 15 metres. Out of all the places in the song, I'm like sleeping 50 metres from my, where my granddad once served and 10 miles away from where my other granddad served. Right? On the day of my birthday, I went up and saw wood on the place called the Bazington Ridge. It was the first place tanks were used, and like, it was, but it was, it was menacing. It was this immense presence. And I've been an ex forestry worker, and I've always had a fascination with trees, but this place was just dark and intense. Simon told me the story. It's the size of six football pitches, and in these six football pitches, 8,000 German and British soldiers disappeared from the face of this earth. Disappeared. The bodies were never recovered. I came back and I knew that was what I had to write about. That was my point. Two weeks after I come back, Simon phones me up. He says, you'll never believe this. William Patterson, 8th Battalion, because he, he was a minor, he worked in the entrenchment units. He dug a trench called Thistle Alley, smack bang in the front of the highwood. He was there through that whole battle through August, September. <coughs> and, um, in the, reg in the, the records, in the regiment, the baton records, he said that they were gassed while they were digging these trenches. My 21-year-old grandfather was digging a trench not through a field. 
he was digging a trench in a graveyard because it was a battlefield that had been fought over for two months and the horses from the cavalry attacks. The men had been blown up, dismembered, buried, blown up, dismembered, buried. And that's what he dug through at 21 year old. And I really believe that the gas was the thing that did the thing to my granddad's chest, not the poor. And he never talked about it. And now we close the circle. After that, my grandfather fought at Beaumont Hamel, 51st Island Division. And he joined the 254th um, Machine Gun Regiment. And um, he fought against the German regiment. And the German regiment was called the Baden Württembergers, who are the only German regiment who's got records across both wars. Yeah. For the last four years, yeah, I only discovered this a year and a half ago, but for the last four years, my partner, she's a German lady, and from the balcony in her house, we can look up to this medieval tower. And I went up there a couple of years back before I knew this information. There's a plaque on the wall, right? and it says, dedicated to the medical detachment of the Baden-Württemberg Regiment, 1916. Right? So my girlfriend, and where I'm going to be living in the next three years, closes the circle. So the people that my father and my grandfather fought against were the Germans from that very place. And we turn the circle around. And this next song, these next five songs, are called The Highwood. And I give these with total respect to all the men, the boys, the sons, and the fathers that fought and died across there. Yeah. This is also for all the civilians that went down between 14, 1914 and 1918. This is for all of them. Thank you. 